Hey, my name is Eric and I'm making this video because Camtasia has some audio syncing issues. Hopefully as I'm recording this, it's going to create that issue for me because it doesn't do it all the time. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can fix that pretty easily and very quickly. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So really quick, I wish this, this was just like a setting that was incorrect or something in Camtasia and you just had to like change a preference. I haven't been able to figure out any kind of fix like that for this. Um, and just to kind of give you some insights here, I have a Mac, um, this is a Mac Mini 2018. It's only actually six months old though. 32 gig of RAM, um, really good graphics card. I uh, installed a um, an external graphics card, so it's AMD. Uh, Radeon Pro WX7100. So it is not my system at all. It's definitely Camtasia. So what I have found is that it seems to be about the same amount of time each time that I am just off. So what I mean by that is if we zoom in all the way, right? And one of the things you can do is you can click on your video. So, you know, if I'm right here, I'm not in the background. I'm on uh, me uh, with my eyes closed looking crazy. Right click, separate video and audio. And what I have found is if you grab this and you pull it 10 clicks, it'll snap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I found it to be nine or 10 clicks for me. And then if we go back down, let's, let's see how it sounds now. Hey, my name is Eric and I'm making this video because Camtasia has some audio syncing issues. Hopefully as I'm recording this, it's going to create, yeah, 10 clicks seems to be the right one. And the other thing I'll mention is make sure you do this at the beginning, like before you start chopping up your entire video, because then you're gonna have to do this for every audio file. You're gonna have to separate every audio file. Uh, but now it's a little bit more in sync. And then if you haven't played with these tools yet, there are audio effects and I find audio compression to be nice. If you look at the waveforms, it kind of just makes all the waveforms equal. And then when you're playing with that, uh, you you know, if you want it lower, so it's a little bit, um, the ratios will get kind of moved. But I found that that's good if you have audio that's peaking and audio that's too low. So better than where we came from. I know it's not a great fix. Uh, I find it super frustrating. I love Camtasia from the functionality, but from the bugginess, um, I also have issues with it crashing sometimes. And there's a video on screen that you can check out right now if you have that same issue as well. Uh, because I do have a fix for that. All right, guys, uh, hopefully it works for you. Uh, if you're getting tired of Camtasia, I do have links for ScreenFlow in the description below as well. All right, take care.